this year at training camp, there are some familiar names back in the huddle. Line up a couple times, and I look to my right, and I see Davin, I see Carl to my left. You know, I can't do that and smile. You know, it's just a good feeling to have, you know, those guys back and on their way, you know, to doing what they had to do. After missing 23 combined games in 2012, Carl Nix and Davin Joseph are a sight for sore eyes. I mean, it's just going to make that line that much better, and it's going to make me that much better because, I, I'm, unfortunately, I get a chance to play against, play right beside, you know, a Pro Bowl left on right guard, so, you know, everybody don't get that chance. I thought the guys who stepped in did a great job. We gained valuable experience, but, you know, you don't replace those two guys. Right tackle Davin Joseph got hurt during the preseason last year, and a few weeks later, left tackle Carl Nix went down, and it started a huge game of musical linemen that Greg Schiano did not want to play. But one of the constants from last year was number 70, Donald Penn. And Greg Schiano praised him this week for how he played in 2012. I'm impressed with the effort that he has put into himself this offseason. He's gotten himself ready. Um, I thought he made strides last year to get to where he was by the end of the season. I think he he just took that and ran with it this offseason, and he's in the best shape since I've known him. I do got a little chip on my shoulder, man. You know, it's going to be tough on the people I'm playing against because, you know, I, gotta, I don't like critics, so I like to prove critics wrong. I've been doing it my whole career, and I'm going to try to do it again. And lined up next to a pair of returning, healthy pro bowlers, Penn says he expects the Bucks O-line to be one of the best in the league in 2013. In Tampa, I'm Bobby Lewis, 10 News.